Welcome out wilds to the Black Gold Saloon. I'm your host, Dr. Holiday. We'll be clearing 11-14 uh, in an adverse environment. I'll be doing this in practice mode because I do not want to lose any sanity. All operators are 4-star and below, except for, obviously, Menarche. And Menarche is pretty strong. He is M3'd. If yours is not M3'd, you have an extra slot, right? Bring whatever quick source of DPS you got available. Um, 15 seconds to charge. Let's see. Hers takes a while. Yeah, 25 to charge. 25 to charge as well. But anyhow, uh, it's essentially just Menarche down here, facing up. He's going to be laying damage to those devourers, right? To these nasty folks. Uh, we're going to be feeding these uh, Yado and fast redeploys or whoever. And we're also going to be blocking uh, this area with uh, Korra. And, we're, and for this area, you don't need like lots of DPS. In fact, just, just a, a medic. Uh, a regular uh, single target sniper and, and, and just a strong uh, a vanguard with strong attack and you're good. That's all you really need. And we also brought Utagi along uh, to help deal with uh, one of those missile platforms here uh, once in a while, you know. First things first, bring out Myrtle. Doesn't matter where you're facing. Next is a Scavenger facing to the right. Activate Myrtle's skill. And, uh, Oh yeah, let's get our sniper out, facing to right. Let's get Lenarche facing upwards. Activate her skill. We want to get uh, Gabiel out, facing to the left. We put her on this square and not this one. We do not. We want to keep her far away from these uh, platforms, right? The missile defense systems. All right, so let's just get uh, your caster out. Activate middle skill. Medic next. And let's get a uh, core out. Doesn't matter where you face her. We forgot to do one thing. This might cost me the, the game, but let's see if I let's see if I'm fast enough, right? Come on, retreat, and then feed her, feed this guy, uh, Yato, right? So make sure that you that you feed this devourer, otherwise he will wipe out your your defender. All right, so we're doing good. Once he's in range, just activate. Alright, not bad. I might go activate uh, her skill, right? Alright, doing good. And who else we got? Okay, so just wait until this guy starts moving. Don't don't bring out your Yado too early. And we're gonna try to block this fellow with Utagi. All right, not yet. Let's feed him a Yado. And let's block with Utagi. All right, we got him. Him out for a little bit longer. Retreat her? Nah, let's see if uh, she can catch something from the missile. Never mind. Alright, so. Eh, we're doing good. Alright, so let's feed the one in the back. Let's feed him a Myrtle. And let's feed him. Let's feed the one in the front a Gravel. Let's activate. Uh. Quick skill. Activate healing, activate the uh, Hora skill. Do not activate Lenarch's skill too early. Wait until he gets here and starts and is blocked by Korra. Now activate. You do not want two of these guys on Lenarch. They will do, they will kick his ass. And there you go. Mission accomplished. Uh, and let's see, the, the main thing, I guess is bringing out Monarch early, right? Uh, and then towards the end, when you have those three uh, devourers, right? Make sure that you're keeping track of which ones you're, you're, you're feeding. It, it's easy to, to lose track and like block the wrong one, you know? And have and have the one who's still hungry eat Korra. You do not want that to happen at all. Make sure you're keeping track of that. Um, just activate 
Susro skill at the right time. Uh, if things are getting too hairy, you can also use Allardale's guard, right? And yeah, this stage isn't isn't so hard when you got uh, Mangarsh on your side, you know. So anyhow, uh, that's been the Black Bolt Saloon, and y'all welcome back anytime, Outlaws.